Well, this is a lesson. But things don't always go as planned. Oh! I'm deep in here. Wow. Now that's a solid bridge. Woohoo! Something that I'm known for. <laughs> Not knowing when to call it quits. So this is our road. This is a brand new state forest to us, so we're eager to see what it has to offer. What do you think? Looks good. Come on now. keep a level in our little utility box here. Usually you can eye it out pretty well, but this will tell us for sure. So as you can see, we are basically level. That is good enough for me. As you can see, it is hot. I don't know if you can tell, but my, my shirt is absolutely drenched in sweat. The bugs are horrendous. Um, we've got not only mosquitoes out there, but we've got deer and horse flies. They hurt really, really bad and they leave a big weld. Sometimes you just gotta keep it simple. Little sandwich, fuel us up so we can get out of here and start exploring. All right, so we are headed to something that's called the Million Dollar Bridge. Apparently there's a hike to the Snake River here in the forest, which has just the most beautiful footbridge. If it seems doable, maybe get in the river. All right, we are on the trail. Feels really good. So far the bugs aren't horrible. I don't know a ton about where we're headed, except for the fact that we are headed to a bridge on the Snake River. I don't know how many miles it is, if it is even a mile. I know it's a relatively short hike. Either way, I'm excited to check it out. Short hike indeed, we're already there. <laughs> wow. This is gorgeous, huh, Al? Woo! Look at that bird. What is that? Here is the Snake River. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh, of course Ellie is heading down to the water. Ellie, you be careful. Oh, that's gotta feel so good. I don't want to join her. Look at her swim against the current. You are crazy, my girl. You are crazy. You can definitely see why this is called the Million Dollar Bridge. For just a walking bridge, they really put a lot of work into this. Wow. Now that's a solid view of the bridge. The bugs are so bad, but uh, I gotta go in. I can't pass this up. Hey, Ellie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! 
summertime in Minnesota. Good girl. The bugs got way worse. I don't know if it's, well, it's probably just because I'm covered in moisture right now from jumping in the river. Whew, they are bad. But thankfully, we're back at the car. So I'm tempted to head back to the cabin and just sort of do stuff around the forest there but we're super close by um, St. Croix State Park. There's a fire tower there that I believe you can actually um, climb up to the top of. So I think, I think we should check it out. All right, so we're gonna stop off and get our park pass. So now we will be good in any Minnesota State Park for a year. Check out these little bridges. These are so cool. So this is Sand Creek. It's a trout stream. We just passed over another one. Super pretty. Wow, here we are. It literally disappears into the trees. <laughs> this tower right here was built in 1937 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. It's one of 123 that were operational here in the state of Minnesota. Now today, they're not needed anymore. We don't need people to stand up there scanning the horizon for signs of smoke or fires. Um, but they serve as a really, really cool vantage point to be able to take in these landscapes. You know, with these bars, it kind of gives the illusion of a jail cell. And it's not far from the truth of what the people working up here experienced. When they were here, they had strict orders to keep their eyes on the horizon. And they could only have visitors for 20 minutes at a time. It was actually a pretty, um, pretty lonely job, you know, a thankless job. Uh, but one of the perks was you got to stare out at this view the whole time. till six and as you can see my fuel is uh, very very low kettle river high banks is supposed to be incredible all right we're just gonna barely go this way and if i run out of gas that'll be a shame <laughs> Kettle River High Banks Scenic Vista, quarter of a mile. All right, we did it. Something that I'm uh, known for <laughs> is uh, not knowing when to call it quits. But it seems like we got enough gas to hopefully get out of here and make it to the gas station. Keyword is hopefully, I guess. 
Oh wow. <laughs> That's gorgeous, huh Ellie? Gotta be careful on this cliff though. Be careful. It's views like this that just sink into your soul. <laughs> This wild, untamed beauty. I'm so glad we decided to come out to the park today. We have gas, ladies and gentlemen. I was getting a little worried. All right. Let's get back to the cabin. Home, sweet home. All right, it is time for dinner, and tonight I'm gonna to be making a chicken fried rice. It's gonna be a simple but delicious meal. Thank you for this food. Amen. The chicken tastes amazing. The fried rice turned out a little on the mushy side. If I had more room to cook up there, I probably would have done the eggs separately and then mixed them in with the fried rice instead of just cracking eggs straight into a bowl of rice. So in one of our videos um, from a few weeks ago, a bunch of you guys recommended that I try out a thermocell for um, controlling the mosquitoes. Believe it or not, I'd never heard of it before, but I picked one up and I want to test it out tonight. Now, from what I hear, it takes about 15 minutes for this thing to get going. So we're going to place it outside on the patio, come in here, let it sort of get going pour ourselves a glass of whiskey and then we'll try to go outside and uh, sit on the porch. There's a mosquito. <gasps> Get out of here. Okay, first impression. Not the best. What do you think, Al? They are severely cut down. I'm not going to lie. The fact that I'm able to sit here at all is impressive. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, the bugs out here are just god-awful. So, um, you know, I'm happy. Good morning. <laughs> Something that I always try to do is prep my coffee the night before. So all you got to do is fire it on and you're good to go. The plan this morning is uh, to get out on the bike. I'm gonna try to take it onto one of these uh, OHV trails that we have here and see if we can't make it all the way to the river. Ah! 
We're gonna continue on on this trail because I know this does connect to the river. Uh oh, fork in the road. Oh jeez, I think I need to check the map. Oh my gosh! Woo! Open. Where are we? Where are we? Okay, okay. We are almost to the river. It'll be the Kettle River. Do we have here? Oh wow, we have a little shelter. Oh goodness. The flies aren't in here. <laughs> if we get stranded, I want to get stranded here. It is. Oh, jeez. Oh. 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 We made it to the river. Oh. It's pretty. It's so pretty. Oh. All right, I'm going to very carefully hike down to this little point here before we go. Wow. Well, we made it to the river, but now we gotta get back to the cabin so we can uh, pack up and sadly get out of here. But man, what an awesome adventure. You guys, I'm on my way back right now, and uh, my battery on this bike just started flashing that it was running out. I'm still deep in here. Do I have any battery? No. So at this point, I think we're still a couple miles away from the cabin. Oh. The flies are getting me. I'm not going fast enough to uh, evade them. Well, my GoPro died now, too. But I'm plugging along. I think this is the final major uh, obstacle before we reach the cabin. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Thank oh. oh. never should have gone that deep with such a low battery but we made it back and uh, now I know not to do that next time <sighs> well guys it was a wild one <laughs> such a great It's a special place. I mean, you can see that from the diversity of the landscapes, from the forest to the bogs to the rivers and uh, everything in between. It's just a very unique place in our state. I just want to thank all of you for your support. Thank you for watching. It means the world. Um, I want to give a special shout out to our patrons. And uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it. See you on the next one.